Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Wagner, the Chief Scientist for the Ocean Exploration Trust. Hi everyone, my name is uh, Evelyn Igelao Otto. I'm Chief Researcher at the Palau International Coral Reef Center and Onshore Science Lead for Libu's Voyage. As you're watching this, we're mobilizing the EV Nautilus for a series of exciting expeditions in Palau, an incredible archipelago in the far western Pacific. These expeditions, called Libu's Voyage, will explore the deep sea habitats of Palau's National Marine Sanctuary. It's a collaboration between Ocean Exploration Trust, the Palau International Coral Reef Center, and NOAA Ocean Exploration, bringing together Palauan traditional knowledge and modern science. We know that Palau has over 200 seamounts, which are world renowned as some of the most biodiverse places in the deep sea. Yet, over 70% of the marine's oceans have never been mapped. Over the next three weeks, we'll map the seafloor and use remotely operated vehicles to explore the deep sea habitats that have never been seen before. This data is critical for supporting Palau marine spatial planning and conservation efforts. NOAA's support for these expeditions is the first step in fulfilling the U.S. government commitment made at the 2022 Our Ocean Conference. Back then, they pledged to help map the deep waters of the Palau National Marine Sanctuary. NOAA Ocean Exploration is funding Libu's voyage via the Ocean Exploration Cooperative Institute, a mission that will be executed in close partnership with the Palau International Coral Reef Center, the Ocean Exploration Trust, and many other partners. Palau has always been a leader in ocean conservation. In 2009, we created the world's first national shark sanctuary, and later that expanded to whales, dolphins, and dugongs. Today, our National Marine Sanctuary protects 80% of Palau's waters, banning activities such as fishing and mining. Despite these protections, less than 30% of Palau's waters has been mapped. We have so much to learn. Pickrick, a Blanche National Quarry Center, in the past has primarily focused on near shore shallow areas. In the recent past, we have started doing offshore work. One of the struggles with offshore work is just being able to get out to these sites. And so this collaboration with Ocean Exploration Trust and NOAA Ocean Exploration gives us the opportunity and capability of getting to these remote sites. And so this is a great opportunity and we're super excited for this collaboration and for all of the cool stuff that's gonna come out from it. Planning these expeditions with very little information is uh, difficult, especially when you've never been there. We're so thankful to partners like the Palau International Coral Reef Center that have helped us connect to this special place, and for all of you, our global viewers, to join us on this amazing voyage. Through LIGO's voyage, we're hoping to expand our knowledge on the incredible biodiversity and the history in the deep sea habitats. The name Libus Voyage honors Palauan exploration history and reflects on our cultural traditions like Bol, which means to leave an ecosystem undisturbed so they can regenerate. This expedition is not just about exploration though. It also reflects the strong relationship between Palau and the United States. That relationship dates back over 80 years. Since Palau became an independent nation in 1994, it's continued to grow through shared commitments like protecting the ocean. This partnership ensures that future generations will benefit from the work we're doing today. Through this expedition, we hope to inspire the next generation of Palauan explorers. By combining the traditional wisdom with modern technology, we're working to protect and better understand our deep sea. So together, we're unlocking the secrets of the deep and helping to preserve Palau's ocean for generations to come. Thank you everyone, and we're looking forward to an amazing voyage.